For this exercise, we're going to work on the second floor door openings. A few things that I want to highlight here are the two equals. They go from the insides of both of those closets, as well as this one foot ten and a quarter, one foot ten and a quarter. They're equally spaced from the middle of this wall. Uh, same thing with these three foot sevens. They are equally spaced from the middle of this wall. So we're going to have to pay special attention uh, when we're creating these. Um, I'll show you a little trick. Let's go ahead and open up floor two. For the bottom one, the one foot ten and a quarter, uh, what we can simply do is just draw ourselves a little temporary line from the midpoint of this upper portion of the wall. If we draw it straight down, we can then just offset it both ways that one foot ten and a quarter to find our midpoints. So offset one foot ten point two five. That could work. Or select it one foot ten dash one slash four. For our two midpoint ones, um, we can just draw from the midpoints of these lines. As you're going around, you might notice that we have little mistakes here and there on our drawings. That's fine. Uh, whenever we're drawing a home, we're always improving it. If you notice, I still need to trim this little piece out right there. But again, we can draw a line from the midpoint straight out. And then we can use that to offset up and down. Uh, for our one foot, not one foot, for our three foot sevens in both of our little bathrooms here, um, I don't have a midpoint that I can draw on to offset up or down. So what I can do is simply just draw in a little temporary line and then use that line's midpoint What that'll do is that'll find the midpoint of this wall, and then I can offset up and down that three foot seven. All right, I hope that helps. We're gonna be using the same techniques that we have all along to create our openings uh, for the second floor. All right, enjoy. Alright, that concludes the second floor door openings.